Hello, boys and girls, it's Miss Dean. So good to spend a few moments with you. I want to talk to you about change and how Jesus changes us. But first, we're going to talk about caterpillars and tadpoles. Let me read to you a verse. We are being changed to be like the Lord. This change in us brings more and more glory, and it comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Well, let's talk about this word called metamorphosis. If you're younger and you've never heard that word, say that with me. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. An animal changes its body from one form to another. Butterflies and frogs are probably the ones that we know the most. The butterfly life begins as an egg and then hatches into a caterpillar. The caterpillar turns into a chrysalis and the outer layer of the chrysalis hardens to become a protective shell. Within the chrysalis, inside, the caterpillar completely transforms into a beautiful butterfly. The frog also starts its life as an egg and it grows into, the egg grows into a, a tadpole that lives in the water. Over the next few weeks, the tadpole's mouth becomes bigger, wider, and his eyes bulge out, and its tail shrinks and shrinks. I don't have a tail, so I can't show you a shrinking tail, until it completely disappears. Just a few more, pay, just a few more changes, and it transforms into a frog ready to hop away on its first jumping contest. But if you were to look at that tadpole and that caterpillar before and after, you would never know the, the frog used to be a tadpole and the butterfly used to be a caterpillar because the change is so extraordinary. And that's what metamorphosis is. It means a complete and total change. Well, if you could go through a metamorphosis, what would you like to do? Would you like to have wings that would fly away? Or would you like to have legs that jump really high? But you know, most of us don't go through a metamorphosis on the outside like these animals do. We go through a metamorphosis on the inside. And God is changing our hearts. I know with myself, I was just talking to two friends today, and I was just talking about how God has changed me so much in the last few years, five to seven years. And it's because he has said, I want you to think like I think. I want you to do the things that I would do. I want you to love like I would love because his kind of love is radical. It's really radical. Jesus can change the way we feel. Jesus changes the way we act. The only thing that we have to do is ask Jesus into our lives and ask for his Holy Spirit. If you've already asked, I know a lot of you have already asked Jesus into your heart, ask him to change you, to change the way you think, to change the way you feel, to change the way you act. Jesus Christ is the only one that can do it. And I know that because he's changed me. He's changed my thinking to, to love more than ever before. The change takes time but the result is amazing. Before we pray, let me tell you about um, a really amazing butterfly. This is amazing. This butterfly is called the Queen, Queen Alexandria uh, Birdwing, and it's the world's largest butterfly. It, it spreads its wings 12 inches. That's a lot for a butterfly. And it has an interesting way of defending itself. The adult butterfly lays its egg on the poisonous pipevine plant. The hatching caterpillars eat the plant and become poisonous themselves. That makes any predator think twice about eating them. So basically, um, it, it's a poisonous butterfly. I've never heard of a poisonous butterfly. Um, so if it's poisonous, people don't want to eat them. But anyway, we don't want to be poisonous. The point is not to make you think about being poisonous. The point is to make you think, what kind of person can the Holy Spirit make me into be? And the Holy Spirit can change you radically so that you think different, so that you only think like Jesus thinks. 
and just imagine yourself on the potter's wheel and God is changing you into this beautiful new creation day after day after day as you ask for him to come and be the Lord and Savior of your life. Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for uh, a lot of these boys and girls are graduates. They're graduating from preschool or, or kindergarten or seventh grade. And we have people graduating from high school and college and, and beyond. And I just pray that you'll just be with all of those boys and girls, no matter whether they're a graduate this year or um, they're all moving from one grade to another. And they're putting the past behind in school and they have new uh, places to go in the fall. And that's so exciting. I just pray that you will just uh, be with them. And Father, help them to ask every single day, what can I do to be like Jesus? Jesus, change me. I need your help. Would you come and change me and make me like you? Thank you so much for the light that these boys and girls are. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.